Don't believe everything you hear about living in a fixer-upper. It's not it's not as glamorous as people make it out to be and it's not as bad as people make it out to be. Uh, I think it's entirely dependent on your mindset and what you make of it. You can live in there with a family, you can do it by yourself. It's what you make of it. Here's our current situation. Yes, we have kids, dog, bed in our living room, but we also have a beautiful lake view. This is the entryway right here. There used to be a wall here and a wall here separating the entryway from our living room. But now it's wide open and we have this big ass beam running all the way across. So we have all these windows and all the whole kitchen showing. Today I'm attempting to put two added beams in here so we can do the ceiling. The ceiling is going to be shiplap, but these these uh, rafters are sagging a little, so I'm going to put two extra beams in here so we don't have any more saggage. You can kind of see how, how much it sags. Right here it kind of dips down a little bit, right there, and then over on this side you can see it a little better. It dips right where the lights are. I'm so excited because spring is start, it's starting to get a lot warmer up here. Pretty soon we'll be able to do outside work as well. You guys will be able to see that. These boards might be exposed. So picking the right side uh, is always a toss up. You either have knots on one side or uh, you have some sort of dent that throws you off. And then you wanna keep the crown up uh, so then that limits which side you want as well. Like decisions. There's all those little decisions like that with a fixer-upper, uh, but there's also bigger decisions like what do you start first? Do you do the outside so then the all the neighbors like you and appreciate that you did the outside first so they don't have to look at a junkyard? Or do you do the inside first uh, because it's cold out and you, uh, you wanna work inside and not out in the cold? All these decisions make make it all interesting
One of those decisions is also what to heat with. Uh, we decided to go with firewood. Uh, we put a fireplace in a uh, couple months ago when it was starting to get cold. The reason being we are out uh, somewhere where it's not as possible to get help, uh, those sorts of things. So uh, when it does get nasty winter and that, uh, we have our own wood. So we always have heat in the winter. A little sneak peek at the outside. Yeah, not the not the most pretty, not the most pretty thing in the world at the at the moment, but we're we're getting there. Well, thank you guys for joining me uh, on a day in our fixer upper. Yeah, it's not always glamorous. It's not always horrible, uh, but um, it is it is fun. And if you ever do want to get in, uh, buy a fixer upper or do this sort of thing yourself, I definitely recommend it because it's a blast. I'm saying that right in front of my wife when I've complained so many times uh, building this or working on this place, but. It is a blast and uh, just keeping that right that right mindset and know that that you're gonna figure it out but uh, thank you for joining me on this beautiful day uh, this beautiful spring almost spring day and uh, yeah maybe we'll see you again another time otherwise keep your balance <laughs>